I'm starting to think that there isn't only one Jacob, but a community of Jacobs living over here. Show yourself. Becoming one of these crazy men, talking and thinking that he heard something. It is uh, time for me to leave uh, Udon Thani, but first I need to find out if there is a bus or a train to my next uh, city. The room seems to be in order, therefore let's go! Yes, thank you. Not only I didn't know about coffee, I also didn't remember that uh, they had 100 baht from me, which they had uh, to give me back. But. <laughs> Who did remember about that? <laughs> I had this coffee, therefore I kinda feel alive and it is time to go check out if we can actually find a bus or a train to this city where I want to go. This city is on the border, the sunset seems to be unbelievable and I just found an interesting lizard. Wait, wait, wait. Can you see it? It's so different from the lizards I know. All these places, uh, they are drying clothes for customers and they are everywhere, <laughs> so nice. Hello Kitty! Over there there is Central Plaza and just before Central Plaza is supposed to be the bus station. Let's see! On Google it's written that the bus station is closed but uh, there are a couple of buses, one and uh, two over there, we'll see. For sure I wouldn't go back to Bangkok by bus. Do you have a bus to Nong Kai? Nong Kai. There. Ben, Ben. Okay, cup and cup. So I can see it, there are buses operating, that's beautiful. Nong Kai? Nong Kai. Yeah. Inside. Inside. Uh, platform 6. Platform 6, cup and cup. That's where I'm at for a moment. Let's go find if there is a ticket. Everything seems to be closed. VIP bus closed. Where do I find the bus to Nongkai? Information. So, for Nongkai, where to buy the ticket? Nongkai. Yes. Behind. Behind. Huh? Ah, oh, okay. Come on, come. Nongkai. 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 Yeah. Did you buy the no That one. At what time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hello. For uh, non Kai. Yeah. At what time do we have the minivan? Minivan. Yeah. Uh, one o'clock. At one o'clock. How yeah. much? How much? Fifty-five. 55 bar at 1 o'clock. Okay, cup yeah. and cup. From here, this one, right? Yeah. Perfect, thank you. So we do have uh, 1 hour and 20 minutes before taking the minivan, therefore we go to eat very quickly, then we go back to the hotel, we grab the bag and we take this van. Most times in Thailand, uh, you do not need to go buy street food. You can buy the same type of food from the shopping centers at the same price. Especially the shopping centers, they do not advertise that they do have a food court because they prefer to advertise the expensive restaurants but hidden in every shopping center there is a food court with extremely cheap prices Let me check in You have to go from the top to the underground and that's where the food court is then you buy a ticket over there and they will give you back the money that you do not spend. Sorry, cup. 150. Over here you have million stalls and the prices are practically the same you will see on the streets. One really nice thing about Thailand is always uh, the example plate in plastic. So you know exactly what you're getting. Here is the figure and uh, here it is what it's going to look like. Interesting, eh? Yesterday, for example, I ate something like that and it was huge, like three times that plate. Probably gonna get number seven. Okay. They give you back the card, they have detracted some money and uh, now they are preparing it. Oh my goodness, this plastic thing, so ugly.
here it is what I got. Super nice and delicious. Probably these are the spices, the pepper and salt. The other two, I have no idea what there is. Maybe because I'm a foreigner, they didn't give me chopsticks. Spaghetti for breakfast, so that's the video title. Remember guys, the same quality of the street stalls, but at least the food is kept into the fridges. If your stomach is having a bad day, go eat in such places. If you feel strong, go eat on the streets. Not that my stomach is bad right now, it's just that before traveling, I'm always careful. I never drink weird things. I never eat things that they may bring me to the bathroom. I need to travel and this cannot be disrupted. The middle of the day and there is no shadow anywhere. I need a towel. <laughs> Maybe I will use this one. Let's go pick up the bag. There is my bag, but maybe I can go first to the bathroom. <laughs> Toilet, I'm so sweaty. It is kind of sad that uh, I cannot say goodbye to the owners, but that's okay. You know, I wanted to add one thing regarding the food. Usually before the long train rides or the long, uh, especially the long bus rides, uh, I totally skip eating because it is so frustrating to go to the bathroom on a bus uh, or on the train. You never know the conditions was been there before you. And in most cases, especially on the buses, I totally do not fit. But in this case, like today, the, the bus ride is going to be a short one, maybe two hours. And uh, therefore I can eat, I can drink. And uh, I went to the bathroom just now to do nothing. Eh? But <laughs> I went there just to be sure that before the ride, I'm okay. We are getting cool cars everywhere here in the north of Thailand. And I have no idea regarding the brand because they took it out and there is a girl making some barbecue But not today guys, not today So imagine if you get on such a bus Imagine what the torture will be to get inside the bathroom I'm actually taller than the ground floor and I'm taller than the second floor so It's a total pain Sorry, Kai. Non Kai. 55, okay. Can I put it here? Mm -hmm. So we are going, guys. Udon Tani Non Kai. Udon Non Kai. Yes. <laughs> cup and cup. This one. I'm practically the only customers. As you can imagine, there are many people traveling, but at least I'm gonna get a good view. They did ask me for the ticket and I practically just lost it. I think they are gonna let me ride anyway. I'm the only one that bought it from there. So spoiled, an entire van for me. I'm finding out some downsides and uh, they are the mosquitoes eating my legs. Will they come with us? Do we get some companions? Maybe, maybe. We'll see. We are 10 minutes late. I think we are waiting for some customers. I do not think they will appear. What do you think he's doing, guys? I think uh, we got some packages to bring to the other city. If not passengers, at least packages. Look over there. What's happening? Very interesting. It is 1.30, we are 30 minutes late. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> it is 42 minutes that I am sitting here. If they keep waiting for customers, I'm gonna lose the train. Oh, 
Uh, we are arrived in Nong Cup. Hopefully, it's Nong Cup. <laughs> Kapun Cup. The first thing I want to do is uh, leave the bus station and go check the river. <laughs> Everybody looks at you very weirdly when you vlog. Why do I love uh, to check the river? It's because this river is the Mekong and it uh, divides uh, Thailand with Laos. Maybe because I love traveling, uh, I always loved borders. I even played games uh, with my friends, uh, <laughs> like uh, crossing the border, going back, or keeping one foot uh, in one country and one foot in the other country. But in this case, because there is a river in the middle, we cannot go. And because uh, there is the 14 days quarantine, we cannot cross the country. We are just gonna see Laos, and uh, if uh, the wind will bring some breeze, we are going to also brief Laos, imagine this, <laughs> what an accomplishment. So Laos should be behind these buildings, we need to find a way to pass through them. Can I simply cross the street? Yes, come on cup, thank you very much. I'm so happy, I'm about to see a border, I'm not going to cross it once so. But it makes me so happy. One positive thing about this city, the writing uh, is also with my alphabet. Good. Let's try to get to Laos. It looks like a pretty quiet city and I have no idea what we are gonna do here. <laughs> Apparently there are another line of buildings before seeing the river and that one seems like a private area. Therefore we should find a way to reach the river, which is not gonna be criminalized. Hello! We have already people selling me stuff, I must be the only tourist over here. People are gonna try to <laughs> make me do things. Oh, there is a huge statue. I don't know if you can see it. I was wondering uh, if uh, the statue was the main attraction of the city and uh, I wonder also if you have seen the fly over the lens but I'm not sure oh, oh who cares about the statue wait we have the river oh wait a second guys let me see the river first yes sir and there are dragons and snakes and whatever but there is the river so very cup oh my goodness we can see Laos, wait a second, and here we do have Laos. Oh my gosh, let me do a bit. My goodness, we have Laos, we have Laos. Wow, Jesus, this thing makes me so happy. <laughs> That's so beautiful. We have Laos, we have a couple of dragons over here. We have a, a temple on that side and we have this huge statue on this side. Do you wanna check the dragons better? I'll show them to you. Here is the temple and uh, over there there is the huge huge statue. Oh gosh, it must be big. Okay, the weather is starting to rock a bit too much. Therefore, it's better to find a hotel, a guest house, something. This time I didn't book it, but I know where to go. Pretty place. I have no idea what they are building here. Maybe something to launch missiles. There are some steps. Maybe it's gonna be a very cool bar, I don't know. I have no doubt, believing that uh, all over this uh, little town uh, they do sell fishes. <laughs> Probably there are so many fish restaurants. Uh, even advertising them as statues, so I do not know. Maybe it's like uh, going to school. You learn what type of fish is it. Pseus, Aud, Oilis, Fleuro, Tenia, Elicopagus. We are going to school and uh, we are in Talad, Kaem, Kangong, and a beautiful sunset is approaching behind all these uh, columns. It seems to be a very good day. I'm very, very happy to be here. 
if you haven't noticed. <laughs> they are pointing at some guest house, but uh, I already know where to go. Like, uh, I found this place, it looks super, super pretty. I hope the rain will not mess it up and I do hope that it's open because you never know during these uh, weird periods we're living currently. But anyway, I think it was totally, totally worth it to come here. This is uh, definitely the most quiet place I've ever been all over Thailand. I never felt uh, so much peace before, like, since like I am the only one, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sure there are other people here. So what do you cap? <laughs> Can you imagine guys, this place is so quiet that that fisherman was able to listen to me talking to the camera. Look what happened over here. You can guess the reason. And again, we do have another of these weird, weird constructions. Totally the same, but uh, in a different, different color. I don't know. What's the point? Over there, moot me. That's where I want to go. So this is the river and uh, that's the guest house. Just behind the the columns garden guest house open to everyone that's it let's hope it is at least open that's the main thing <laughs> then maybe we're gonna check this beautiful beautiful garden but oops is it open where do we enter maybe here or reception okay it looks very, very beautiful, this place. I'm pretty happy. Reception, yeah, it should be there. Wow. Very nice place. 12 seconds later. <laughs> I didn't uh, do the reservation online, but I came here directly. Lovely. What's your name? <laughs> Michele, Michael. Michel. Okay, where yeah. are you from, Michel? From Italy, but I've been here three months, so... Oh, no, no, well, everyone has. You can't come in or out. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, exactly. <laughs> but everybody's scared that I am Italian, so... <laughs> no, we're not scared of you. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. You haven't got the virus, so there's no way you've got it. Yeah. Okay, do you want somewhere to stay? I was watching online the double... Uh, like, a cheap room, but as a double bed. Yes. Yeah. Do you want air conditioning and own bath? How much is it going to cost me? 500 baht with air conditioning. Okay. Is that all right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I saw the photos of this place. I read that it was a guest house and I was like, okay, I will come here. <laughs> like, uh, Lovely. Six and a half hours late. Apart to the spider nets, there is a jackal moving around a bit too much and I am very, very tempted to sleep under this thing. What should I do, guys? Should I sleep under this thing? I mean, the mosquitoes probably are not surviving the AC, but who knows? The next morning. I woke up with this thing falling on my head from up there. During the night, you could clearly hear animals or insects or whatever walking over this roof oh gosh and there you can see i had two small beards yesterday i know i should be ashamed just the small ones oh, maybe you can hear the sound did you hear it i'm starting to think that there isn't only one jacko but a community of jackos living over here oh yeah yeah show yourself now he's stopping to move huh? <laughs> Becoming one of these crazy men, thinking that he heard something, but there is a sound of them moving, going up and down. What the hell? Mm. Yeah, doesn't seem very stable. It's gonna break. Also, this hole. <laughs> oh gosh. I pushed it back inside. Not sure if it will resist, but hopefully, it will be enough. I do not like to give a bad promotion to places, even if they have animals uh, hovering uh, the roofs. I think it's just part of the experience over here. You have animals, uh, that's what you rent it for when you rent a place uh, that is uh, on the river and uh, in the middle of some trees. <laughs> tre. Ne abbiamo tre. 
Ah, ah. Sono ovunque. After three nights, it is time for me to leave this room. Yes, there are mosquitoes and you need to be prepared. Yes, there are geckos on the roof. There are also mushrooms growing down there in the bathroom. So guys, I do have mushrooms. Uh oh. But still, if you really want the big, amazing, beautiful Thai experience and you're gonna see it also in future videos, that's how Thai people live. They live under a little tent that protects them, especially here in the north. The owners are really, really beautiful people and they are helping me all the way. They are giving me suggestions, they cook me food. Of course, you have to pay for that, but the kindness of Julian and his uh, Thai wife, which I cannot recall the name right now and I want to apologize for that. The kindness of these people is unbelievable. And uh, probably this place would be totally out of my budget in uh, normal times, but because of Corona, their price went from 750 to 500, which is still a bit over my budget, but I can somehow afford it. <laughs> I think people are everything, I think people are uh, opportunities uh, and uh, the opportunity to come here and learn from the locals uh, it's something that uh, you wouldn't be able to find in any hotel anywhere around the world uh, unless uh, it is a family run hotel so when you are in Thailand uh, probably it's better if you book the guest houses but yeah let's be silent about this having to deal with the mosquitoes is incredibly incredible difficult and the geek was moving all over the roof. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so guys, I'm leaving this beautiful, beautiful location. Check out, we do even have a swing. Anyway, look how beautiful over here. And uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep reading and believe in your dreams. Ciao.